Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, you have to find the output of the below code and you have to provide a valid reason why you have selected this particular output. The question is, you are having a const result and that you are storing an array of string values 1, 2 and 3. On the array, you are applying the array prototype map and inside the map you are passing the callback function pass int and you have to print the output of that result okay and the options are an array of string values 1 2 and 3 and b uh, an array of integer values 1 2 and 3 c uh, an array of value 1 2 and not a number and d uh, an array 1 nan nan okay so please try from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what we are getting uh, the output for this particular question. Okay, so I have this particular script uh, present in the test.js file and this particular test.js file I am calling in the index.html as you can see here. And so let me run this particular uh, code Okay, and let me run this particular html and make everything ready. So I have this up and running. So let me open the console. Okay, so I have this uh, console as well. Okay, so let me comment it out for now. Okay, so I'm just uh, commenting it out and before seeing the output, we'll go one by one. Okay, so uh, you have an uh, array of string values 1, 2, and 3. On that, we are applying the map prototype. Okay, so what map prototype does is it creates a new array. And the new array will be having the results that is uh, applied on calling this provided function. In our case, it is the uh, callback function is the parse int. And this particular callback function will be applied on every element in the calling array. And it stores all these results in a new array. So that is what uh, result will be having. So it will be another array, a new transformed array you can say. And in that uh, string array, we are actually passing the map prototype and we are calling this callback function parseInt. So what does uh, this parseInt is doing is, so parseInt actually it will be uh, uh, parses a string argument, okay, so a string argument and returns an integer. So this parseInt can actually uh, take one, uh, one argument or it can also take two argument, okay. The first argument will be the expression uh, and the second argument will be the radix. So the radix is uh, actually the base in the mathematical numeral system. So uh, it can take two arguments, okay. And uh, the base radix, uh, you can see there are different values that it can take 2, 8, 10, 12, uh, 16 based on whether it is binary, uh, hexadecimal, decimal or something like that. So it can take uh, this many different values. So, uh, so map is actually uh, calling a callback function. And map can actually pass three arguments, okay. It can pass the element, it can pass the index and it can pass the array. So when it is passing all these uh, arguments, so and it is calling the parse and callback function. So the parseint, uh, parseint actually will be uh, taking two arguments, okay. The first one is the element itself and the second one is the index, okay. Uh, so that is the way it works. So now we will be uh, actually going into the uh, question, okay. So what does this question is doing? In this question, okay, so the first case will be as it is calling the parse int, the string value 1 will be applied, will be uh, passed into the parse int and it will be actually taking, okay, let me parse int, okay, parse int of 1 and it will actually pass the index. So the map, okay, as it is using the map, it passes, what it passes, the element, okay, element and then the index and the array itself, okay, and the array itself. So this many values uh, map will be providing, okay. So in this case actually, so in this case, percent is passing the element 1 and the index is the third argument will be ignored okay the array will be ignored by parsing because it is taking only the ar argument and the radix so in this case the index will be uh, zero so what happens is okay so let me okay 
So, this is the first uh, case. So, parsing actually if it is uh, the value uh, should be between 2 and 36. Okay. Uh, if this argument is not supplied, strings with a prefix of 0 x are considered a hexadecimal, all other strings are considered decimal. Okay. So, now in this case what happens? Uh, if I see uh, the output over here, so let me refresh it. So, if the output is 1, for 0 it is 1. And the second case will be, so map will be applied to each element in the array. Okay. So, the second thing is it will be applied to the second element, second element is 0 and the index here will be 1. So, now what happens is the radix value has to be between 2 and 36. Okay. So, in all other cases what happens it returns nan, okay, not a number. So, now you can see the for the second case it will be printing not a number. Similarly, what happens for the third case, so the third number is 3 and the index is 2 index is 2 means it is what is that radix corresponding to it is a binary numeral system. So, in binary you know right it will be accepting values between 0 and 1. Okay. So, in this case it is out of range okay. so it is like 3 and it now it is again nan. So, for the binary also it is not able to convert that 3 and now uh, so now the answer would be like uh, so, you can guess the output right. Now, if I just uh, print uh, console log of results, so this is what uh, we want right. So, this is the way it uh, works. So, the map will be actually providing three element, uh, three arguments element index and array. So, as the callback function is parsed, it can accept uh, two values one is the string value itself and the second will be the radix. So, radix will be considered as a string uh, as the index. So, 0, 1 and 2 will be pa uh, passed into the parsing method and hence the result will be uh, we can check the result. Okay. Yeah. So, it is an array of the first value that is the uh, 1 and when it is trying to convert the string 2 and the index is 1 and hence it is not able to find that. So, it is uh, printing not a number. Similarly, for string uh, 3 as well, uh, it is the index is 2 and it is not able to convert that and it is again printing not a number. So, that is the way uh, how it works. So, I hope you got an idea about how uh, map is working. Uh, map is actually trying to create a new array, just a recap of what map functionality is. It is trying to create a new array uh, which is populated with results of calling a callback function on and it is applied to on every element in that calling array. Okay. And as it is calling parsint, uh, parsint will actually take two uh, as you can see here it will be taking two arguments. One is the string value that needs to be parsed and another is the radix. In this case the radix will be considered as the index because uh, map the second argument in map is the index and it is not able to convert uh, string 2 and 3. But it was able to convert string 1 and hence the result is 1, nan and nan. So, the option D is the correct answer. So, that is it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching.